<laughs> Good afternoon, happy Easter. How are you all? My table is full of things and it's going to be one of those streams today that we're having like, we talk about what's in the colouring bag, got a lovely little package from the lovely Joanna Basford, got some cards, got the checklist challenge, so we're going to go through everything. Hello my loves, how are you all? I've missed you guys <gasps> so much, even though I've seen you around, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a little bit like, haven't actually sat and spoke. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll sit and speak so let me see who's here so if you are new to my channel these are live streams uh, so there is a chat and um, I spend quite a lot of time in the beginning just going through and being polite otherwise it's not polite if I don't say hello hold on let's go up wow there's loads of you hello lovelies Shannon Jennifer Lozzie Kenny Bridget Sarah uh, Pat, Becky, oh, one minute, I'm going down, I'm going down, <laughs> Boots, Tommy, Pamela, my love, Jennifer, <laughs> Ali, hello, my loves, hi, you, Sue, our lovely Sue, um, Tina, Emma, hi, guys, how are you all, I hope you're all well, I hope that March was good to you, I have been a busy, busy, busy bee, I can tell you that, um, so mum, I'll give you a quick update, mum's eyes have been really bad, bless her, she's got some glasses, um, but she is now diagnosed, partially sighted, and there's probably not too much they can do for her, um, but she might have to, enough, well, it's almost certain that there's going to be another op, hi you Kirsty. so that's where that is, so we've been up and down, up and down, and, and appointments, and etc, so, that's where I've been. Also running around. Andrew is now out of shielding. We're out of shielding now. Um, again, let's see how this one goes. But that is what's been happening. So I won't go into that too much. But I just wanted to let you know that's where I've been. In the meantime, I concocted up my checklist challenge number two, which we're going to go through. There is some spelling errors in the first page. Don't worry about that. Just ignore me. Ignore me. <laughs> Hiya, Brian. I will, Brianna. <laughs> but how are you all i hope you're all okay and you know what i've been doing with my half an hour that i've had i've been crafting and i've been enjoying myself so much so i'll go through what i've been doing in a minute um but i hope that you've all been good and well most of all i've also oh my did you see how how you cat and paste did you see how many let me just give you Right, these are, just to give you a heads up, these are Instagram colour alongs for the month of April. Come on, how many are there? There are so many. I was like, my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Lou. Hi, guys. Hi, April. Yes, yes, we're all okay. We're, we're plodding on along. Hello, my Zeely Green. But yes, let me go up. Have I missed anyone? Um, oh, mum's there. Hi, mum. I was just saying about your eyes and what you've been up to in March with them. Okay, so first off, we'll start off with, I think, because I've got so much to cover. But I don't know if I'm going to be ending up colouring this. This uh, Right, vote. Do you want to do the checklist challenge first? Let's, let's go for the checklist challenge first, then we'll do all the fun things as well. But this is super fun. So if you're not familiar with the checklist challenge, it's just the thing I concocted up last year to help with the pandemic. Um, and it went down a storm. I was not at all. Hello, Amberly. I was not at all expecting that look how pretty Joanna Bassford's paper is I had to just like have it have it out look how beautiful it is she did she's got a sticker on there say adventure awaits isn't that stunning that was in her package I was like oh I don't want to throw this away hello Megan hello Ali okay so what I want to go through first is the checklist challenge so on your screens now ignore the errors on page one we, this one, it's got a few. So anyway, I've, st I've got some that are still the same and I've got some that have changed. But you've got colour, a new to you artist, 
colour a page from a book you love, colour a book you have abandoned, hello Leah, colour a woodland animal, uh, colour a page with your zodiac sign, colour a page representing a sport, I'm sorry ladies for those of you like me who don't like sport, hi you Robin, <laughs> hi everyone coming on in, hi Leah. Colour a page using gel pens. Colour a page with an unusual hair colour. Colour a page with a bumblebee. Your Hello, Helly, my lovely. Hi, Michelle. I'm so happy to see you all too, as you can tell by my voice. Uh, Colour a page with an artist beginning with a letter K. Now, I've been asked, is that surname or first name? It's first name, like Kirby, Clara, that kind of thing. Colour a page with a bumblebee. Colour a page divided down the middle. Now, we did grayscale and colour. Now we're doing one in bright tones, one in dark tones. Colour this belongs to page. So, you know the book belongs to page. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Pebbles. Hi, Tonya. Hello, everyone coming on in. Evelyn. Hello, lovelies. Happy Easter. Uh, Colour a page with a well-known character on. Colour a page with text or a quote on. Colour a page with an ad in in your background, clouds. Hi, Charlotte. Colour a page with flowers and blooms only. So nothing else on that page apart from flowers. Um, Colour a page with an element in, so earth, water, fire, that kind of thing. Colour a circular illustration. Colour a page from a creative haven book. Colour an old whip, and I mean old whip. Old, ah, oh, Evelyn, thank you so much. You don't have to thank me for that. Oh my goodness, this is like my joy and passion. Thank you so very much. That is so sweet of you. Big hugs. Lots of love. And happy Easter. Hiya, Debbie. So then we have colour a book from a female artist and then a male artist. Colour a book that intimidates you. Uh, colour uh, something from like your comfort zone it can be. Colour a page that fills you with happiness. And colour a safari animal. Yeah, I, I spelt safari wrong. So that's the page one. So colour a poster page or a pullout from your colour book. So you know like the Fabiana has posters or you can buy the poster from Colouring Heaven. Well, you know those pullouts that you get sometimes, anything like that. Colour a mythical creature. Now Shannon asked me about this tree character. Anything that's mythical, it is absolutely count. Don't forget this is your list. You don't have to do the whole thing. Hi, Mona. Happy Easter. I colour all the seasons. So spring, summer, autumn, fall, winter. All of them. <laughs> all. Colour a patterned page. This is like your wallpaper pages. Anything like that. Oh, hi, Brandy. Hi, Miranda. Hi, everyone coming on in. Happy Easter. Colour a page from a book you had in the beginning of your colouring journey. Now, I'm going to take this off of your screens because I've got it here. Um, colour a page that you had in the beginning of your colouring journey means something you got right at the beginning. It doesn't have to be your first book or second book or third. It could be something that you got within the first few months of colouring, you know, anything like that. Colour a page using a pastel colour palette. Colour a page using a pointillism technique. I'm so sorry. The tone tan came out and pointillism went in. <laughs> It doesn't have to be the whole page. You can have like a bunny. Right, I'm just going to give you, this is a freebie. It is linked down below from Mariola. So say you coloured the whole bunny in pointillism, you could colour the rest of the elements without being in that. Something like that. Yeah, I thought that would be fun. Colour a page with a marker base and shaded pencil on top. We all do that. Hi, your honour, sweetheart. Colour a page and add a frame to it. Now, you know sometimes you've got just one little tiny like this. You can draw a frame in and make it framed or you can washi tape or something like that. This is linked down below anyone that wants to participate. It is a year long, April to April. So April 1st to April 1st, 2022. Um, Colour a page following a colour along on YouTube. So like a Chris Chang or something like that. Colour a page with a buddy, so a buddy colour, we all do them, we love them. Colour a page representing a well-known fairy tale, so something like uh, The Wizard of Oz, the Fabiana ones are great for that. Colour a double page spread, colour a page someone picks for you, colour a mermaid, colour a page by closing your eyes and stopping, so you close your eyes, you flick through it and you stop, 
open your eyes, what's the page, that kind of thing. Colour a pocket size book or a postcard book. Colour a page mostly distress ink. Ink tents are fine. Hello, Joanna. Colour one or all of the occasions. So I've listed some occasions. St. Patrick's Day, Thanksgiving, Easter, Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day. A lot of you are seasonal colourists, what I'm trying to figure out. So things like that would be nice and easy for you. Colour a buddy split page. This means you split the page down the middle. So your husband's your wife, your friend, literally split it down the middle. They do one, you do half. Uh, you've created a, a page together then. Colour a farmyard scene, a hardback book, a holiday destination, and fish, ocean animals. And I'll just put, you're a superstar, you completed one heck of a challenge. Now, if you're like me, I'm like the six. Tick off six in one go. So one page that I pick is going to be like six different things on there. I will literally tick every single one that I can that this picture that I do covers. So that is your checklist challenge 2.0. And you can download this now. Totally free. It's up to you. It's just something that gives us a little bit of, um, you know, just a little bit of inspiration. Okay. So the next whilst I was away, oh that's fine, I just, I love things like that, even if I don't do them all myself, I did half of my last one. Very quickly there is a, a freebie, I put mine smaller, I didn't want it huge. This is from Mariola Budek, again this is in the description below. And this is completely free to everyone, she's done this as a freebie for Easter. So you can download that via her Facebook, and I have linked her Facebook in the description. So that's another little thing that you've got there. Right, so then I'll do Joanna Bassford, because I've got a surprise little package. And I was so, so like, excited, because I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. And I got the little package in the post from her, which I thought was so nice. And it came, whoopsie, a minute. It came the other day and I was so excited. So it just says, To Samantha, happy colouring. I hope you enjoy bringing these worlds of wonder to life in your beautiful colours. Stay safe, Joanna. And then I got one of these little gold foiled prints that she's 98 of 200, this one is. I thought that was lovely. Then, not only did she put that in, she put these castle art botanicals. Now, I don't know if you fancy swatching these today, but... The colours, you get 24 colours and they are based around the botanical range. So you get titanium white, golden yellow, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, terracotta light. I think they are in the main set. If you've got the main set, they're in the main set. These are the soft series. If you're not familiar with castle arts, you can buy them in different sets. Um, so this one, they have changed from what I used to have. They have changed the... Um, layout of them. Mine are slightly different because I had the older editions, but I just love this. I was so excited and I was so privileged. I'm so blessed and I, I realised that and I'm, I'm so thankful. I just was over the moon. I could have bounced around the house like a, an absolute nutcase if I had wanted to the other day. And <laughs> it came and I was so, so happy. So I might swatch these out a little bit later. I've not done that yet. Um, and it's got their sets in here that you can buy. There's so many. And they not just do they do colouring pencils, they do other art materials. And this is another little booklet that tells you the colours. And again, you, what sets you can buy. So you can buy quite a few um, inspired types of sets, which is, you know, fabulous if that's what you're looking for. And then they give you this little rundown of what you can do with a botanical which I thought was quite sweet I thought that was quite sweet to include hey Benita I'm okay how are you so along with that what we all want to see and you've all seen it you've all got it by now is the world of wonder but aha uh -huh. I got so excited I got the Sammy again I was like ah <laughs> can't do it so I'm so excited to have it so yes I love her her writing with her names I'm like I get super excited so I'm just going to bring you down on a bit of a ride for a second okay so
So these are so cute and the reason why is because I don't find them intimidating. Like some pictures can be so much and then you have ones that are just nice and small which is something that, you know, I'm going to go towards. Although, saying that, I have been doing busy illustrations, which I think I've lost the plot. Yeah, all cats, if because otherwise I won't see it. <laughs> I was rather reserved. I wasn't at home, Andrew would tell you. Hey, Nutella! I've already picked out the one I want to do in here. But this is a very busy page. The one thing that I do like about her books is that she doesn't, she really does listen, she doesn't go into the spine. Hello, Angela! I know. <laughs> I know. It's so amazing. I love this one, the Sweetie Cart. You might recognise a couple of them from that little booklet that she did. Oh, what was it called? It, she did a little booklet, printable one, for free. I love this. Well, this is on her gold foil print. See, what I like about this is it's quite, to me, it's easier to tackle. And look, there's a framed picture. I'm like, I'm all for that. Because it gives me something to work with. You know when you've got too much of a full page, it's hard? You know when they put it in something like a circle or a square, it's like, you can see what you're going to do with that. Is anyone else like that, or is that just me? But, and I also like these ribboned pages. And look, I think she got an idea when she was in lockdown. You know when you make these things up in the, in Flourish, thank you. It's, you can see a few from Flourish. You know when you're in the garden and you've got children and you want to make it fun and you make like little tents or tepes, is that how you pronounce it, Lozzie? Oh, thanks, it's my Scrabble ring. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to put on. Ah, uh, and you, Benita. I said that I was missing everyone. Kirsty's just done that one, I think I saw. And this one was in Flourish, wasn't it? Yes, I like the bite size. Now I like. There's a couple. I love this one. The one that I've chosen. I think Colour of Claire's just posted actually. Um, is it's coming up. These were from, that was definitely in Flourish. I believe but it's such a lovely book and wow this one I must say you are brave if you tackle this one teepees thank you <laughs> I knew it was something like that Tepe, teepees <laughs> I, was, I was on the right track I was on the right track glamping I just call it because you're in the garden and you're right from your house so you can actually go inside and make it all glamorous I love this one so much. Look at the little cat on the hammock. I just love it so much. KP, my love, how are you? I love that one. But the one that I'm going to do is coming up. Um, and yes, it's a smaller one. So as I said, I'm all for that. All for that. Emily's doing the rainbow bus with this one. If you want to go over to Emily Illustrators doing this one. I love these. Yeah, you're the brave one. It's so busy. This one. I love this one because I can use distress inks on it. So I'm all for this one because I've got this idea of coming out with the distress inks on this and doing the underground different. So I'm going to use distress inks and pencils in this and I'm going to use the botanical set and see what I can do with that. And I just, I really can, I... The first time I flipped through it, I envisioned this one straight away. So I'm going to go with that one. And it's nice and small. And it's really, really nice to do. So I'm definitely going to go for that one. Hi, you, Lou. Hi, Katrina. And I, I, love, I love these ones, the ones that are central to the page. But yes, her brand new release. Again, this is in the description. And look at that. That is what you call a full page of rainbows and butterflies. I think she was saying that a lot of it was inspired by her daughter, Evie. Um, especially like the cutesy ones. But that's the one I was going to get. I like to kind of get, going to do. And I really want to use these and see how they are with inks. So that was my little surprise package, which I was so, so, so excited about. 
And um, that is another thing. Right. What was I going to show you next? Oh, next. What is in my colouring bag? Also, I want to just show you one of my completed pages that I did in March. I tackled one of my fears. Hold on, I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. I don't know about you, but <clears throat> I have such bad al allergy hay fevers around this time of year. Okay, so one of the books that scared the bejesus out of me was this one. So I chose one of the simpler ones out of this book. And I chose the Carousel. Hello Cassie, I'm okay, how are you? So I chose this one, this was for Mythographic March. I was a chicken and only did one. I did do some dual metallics, I don't know if you can see like on the on the pieces. So all these little extra bits, I kind of put some glitter on them. Because uh, I don't know what to do with the like little additional hidden objects. And I thought, okay, <laughs> like that one's the toothbrush, it's so random. So I did do one, I did manage one, and I did it in quite a girly palette as well. So I got some inspiration off Google. And I rolled with the colours that that gave me, which was this turquoise, teal, and pink, and gold. And then the rest of it I just kind of made up on the spot. I did use some um, Distress Inks, which, <laughs> they are a lifesaver. I love them so much. And if you want a colour out of them to buy, I recommend the Kitsch Flamingo. My favourite. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I went with this really girly palette. I'm so proud that I did because this book is so busy. <laughs> so busy. Have you seen it? Have you seen this book? This book is like, the only other one that I really wanted to tackle was this one. Because I really like whales. But then I thought, all those clouds. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not for that. So I, I kind of went with this one. And I thought that was really nice. So that was one of the pages that I did in March. Now, the other one is actually in my colouring bag for April. Yeah, well, it's funny because I really wanted like a kiddie sort of palette and um, I just went with it. Okay, let's go for what's in my colouring bag. Um, oh, also, what I was doing when I was waiting for mum from a, her eye appointments and her hospital appointments, etc. this month, is I've worked my way. I, these are not for everyone, so just, oh, how do I colour fur? Small, tiny strokes layered up, and I mean tiny little strokes, just layer and layer and layer with them, but don't become muddy, so you can layer in different colours, and that's the only way that I tackle it, tiny little bits. Um, right, so these are not for everyone, so cover your eyes if you don't like them, but I have done 10, <laughs> 10 villains out of 20, and these have helped, because you can, I've take, taken this everywhere, literally, while I was waiting, with a gel pen, and just rolled with it. So I did Lady Tremaine, this, this was a glitter gel pen. I did King Candy, I did Jafar, <laughs> I did Hades, The Evil Queen, Dr. Facilia, I can't remember her name, um, Cruella de Vil, Captain Hook, and The Big Bad Wolf. Now... My idea is to just do these if I've got... Mum's got another appointment next Wednesday. So I'm going to bring this with me there. And that's in my colouring bag. And then I've also got this in my colouring bag. And I'm just not sure about what I've done so far. So this is where I'm at. This is a buddy colour we've got going on over on Instagram called Rita Easter Buddy Colour. Now, I don't know if I like what I've done. So I walked away yesterday from it, and I'll come back to it at some point when I feel like I can tackle it again. So this is in my April bag, um, and I'll see how that goes. I'm just going to read the comments. You can't do those. No, some people, they do make them nauseous. <clears throat> You're waiting on next one of these, maybe next month. Yes, the Potter one comes out. That's it. I'm going to get that next month. That comes out at the end of the month. Um, they are scary to colour Cassie. They, the mythographics are scary. Yes, I love Zucchini Kitty. I was just watching Karen's from yesterday. Uh, yeah, mythographic is quite harsh, isn't it? 
Um, ah, thanks, Kirsty. I'm not sure at the moment. I'm at the stage of not knowing what I want to do, where I want to go. So I've left it there for the minute, and I'll come back to it. So that's in my April bag. And then I've pulled out, and again, I'm using my colouring checklist challenge as my prompts as well. I have put in my bag the eerie, I think it's a fairy tale book. <laughs> Michelle, I know some people can't. I love them. They keep my hands occupied while I'm waiting around. Um, this one is for the fairy tale prompt. So on your colour and check this challenge, uh, there is the one where I think I've got a fairy tale one. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, okay. So colour a page representing a well known fairy tale. So this is what this one will go for. So this one is um, the fairy tale one, and it's got fairy tales galore in this one. And actually, there is a couple. So I, I've always loved the Wizard of Oz page. I absolutely love this one. So that is a big potential. And the other page that I really, really love is the Tea Party, the Alice in Wonderland. So it will be either or. I'm sort of swaying towards the Oz one because I actually really love that page. I think it stood out a mile. But I love them all and I love the Pinocchio one as well. So this is another option you can use for your fairy tale prompt. So that is in my April bag. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. And then I put Fragile World in there. Yeah, I've got one that's on the go in there. So I've got a whip. But also Shannon's got this hashtag the hippo fragile world one so I wanted to aim towards that I'm trying to find it for you so there is a buddy colour going on a community one if I can find it it'd be good if I could find it for you then I wouldn't <laughs> then I wouldn't be flicking 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 but there's a hippopotamus in here that is hiding from me right now um, so that's why I put this in here you know where it just doesn't want to come out? There it is. Okay, so this is a buddy co colour that Shannon's got going on. It's a community one over on Instagram. So I put that in here for that. Hello, Ali. Happy Easter to you too. So that's another option. Um, don't forget, this is not things that I have to colour. They're just things that I've stuck in my bag. So that is another one in my sort of pile of what I would like to do. Now, this book I'm loving at the moment. I don't know if anyone has seen this or if it's not your cup of tea. It wasn't mine either. For a while I didn't think I would like it, but I do. I love it. This is A Circle of Life, and I'm not even going to butcher the person's name, but I'm going to say Mel Pomini. Mel Pomini um, is the artist. I'm looking forward to seeing what this person does more of. So I've done two in here. So this one is the first one that I did in March and this was done with um, Distress Inks and Polychromos and a Posca pen and it's just so simple and I'll bring it up to the page for you. So you can see the seasons, very simple. It's the polar bear. It's the kangaroo, which would go for the Australian. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> if it's making you sick, I'll move it. It's just a bit of pattern. Well, it's, I don't realise how much these sort of things affect people. Okay. So then we have the kangaroo. And then we have the penguins. And this was a nice, simple one that I really enjoyed. And you can see how easy and simple this illustration was. So this was very easy to do. I just used a very minimal palette. It used Distress Inks and Polys. I did gold, rose gold, some greens, and I just went into the inner part with some pencil. It scares you, Sarah. It is quite an intimidating book, isn't it? I absolutely love it, though. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I want to do another one in here anyway, so... Maybe we can do this on our next stream. Um, and yes, very, very simple. And the other one that I did, which I was surprised I did, was a very busy one. 
and it was the ah oh, thank you <laughs> it was this one and again it was just minimal palette I don't know if you can see the detail but it's like greens the pinks I did the carrots and the pumpkins the corn and then you've got some distress inks you've got the free bunnies and again it's in that circular pattern so because I'm loving this book so much I thought it would be nice to then do something else in it this month now if you've not seen this there it is very busy um, I'm surprised that I ended up doing two in one month but I was enjoying it so I was coming in I was relaxing and I had that little time and it was just nice and quick so it is a beautiful book but if in <laughs> if detail scares you this one probably isn't for you however if you tackle it with a minimal palette it's not too bad it really is so it's one of those this reminds me of Kirby Roseanne's I love this one and I've kind of looked at that one for this month but I'm not quite sure if I was going to go for that yet I love the circular designs of it all that's just it. I think that's what drew me in um, this was one that mum bought me yeah it reminds me of Kirby as well thank you Lozzie <laughs> I just loved doing them like it because I didn't have many colours thank you Bridget I love this one the panda which wouldn't be hard because you just need some greens you'd need to graduate your background and then your panda would just be with some greys maybe in there and some black oh Ali so many people say that <laughs> <laughs> thank you Mary and this one is beautiful the whole thing is beautiful I love it I love it but this is another one and um, yeah definitely recommend this one if I had a recommendation book for the month it would be this one <laughs> do it do it click that click it <laughs> I love this one as well It is just so lovely and because it's nice and thick black line art as well I love this one there's just so many in here that I like um, not keen on that one even though I'm not an arachnophobe that one and this one's too busy um, <clears throat> but I do love it so there's quite a few I love this one as well colouring with K uh, she's done some beautiful ones in here Lucy's done some Lucy has colour. I love this one as well. I just love it all. And this one. So I have to decide what I want to do. So I am, am I here? Yes, I'm streaming on Tuesday because mum's appointment's on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, I'm streaming Tuesday. So we'll have a little colouring session on Tuesday, which I'm so looking forward to. You've got so much in this book. Yes, Louise. I said the same thing. It's Rita Berman and Kirby combined, isn't it? Yeah. And I love this one because you've got from the tiny little sort of eggs to the tadpole to when it comes out as the tadpole, like, you know, as it's growing and to the full frog. So it's sort of, the, it is the circle of life. That's what I love. It's, it really is the title. And I love this one as well because, you know, when we say, oh, this is one for your checklist challenge. So we know we were saying about the checklist challenge about the in half. Well, you wouldn't have to because look, it's half for you. So you know the one where it says do in half in, where is it? Half in like bright colours and half in dark colours. Well, that would be bright and that would be dark. So, and I love these because they're total opposite. You've got the sun, heat, fire, elements elements these are your elements water elements so if you wanted to do your look this book's got it all for you <laughs> so great i love it so anyway i've got to pick a couple pages out of here i love them so that won't be hard so that's in my coloring t i'm gonna say it's like a tbc of shannon's and my coloring bag i've done this coloring bag for years right this is a whip and it's in this is why it's in my colouring bag. So this one is by Petra. I don't know how um the title goes on this one. I'm so sorry.
but I'm doing this spring wreath and I'm trying to replicate this side to this side and I love the fact that she's given this um, <laughs> froglet oh my god I love it <laughs> uh, there you go again watch your seven so sorry but I'm not sorry you're gonna enjoy it so much okay so if anyone wanted to know what I was actually using I was using light fast predominantly I did have a whole bind white in there and I did have a prisma deco yellow <laughs> This one is gorgeous. I love this so much. So if you've not seen these books, I will link Petra's um, Instagram. On okay, sorry about that. It, it lost you for a second. Um, I think you're back. I think you're back. It says reconnection. <gasps> I hope you're back. Bear with me everyone, I hope it's got you back, yes there we are, we're back, we're back, sorry it disconnected you, we're back again, yes so this book, even the title page, um, so I'm doing the Spring Reef, um, not every single one has a side image, but some do, Connie and Zucchini Kitty have done videos on this, I love this so much. Um, I was intimidated, look at that, just look at that. Um, I was intimidated to start this because I thought, how on earth am I going to replicate some of that? But just do your thing. As everyone says, do you. <laughs> so I thought, oh, do you know what? Let's go for it. You can only dive in. It's gorgeous, look at that. So this is book one, I believe, Look, and this is a spring, if you wanted another spring one, this is daffodils and tulips, which you couldn't get more um, spring-like if you if you tried. This one's gorgeous, Karen Zucchini Kitty's done a video on this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, it is just one of those books you're just in awe of. So that's my whip for this month, this one. And this will probably be done within a few days because I just want to get my pencils on it. Um, I literally did the daffodils before I came on stream. And I'm writing down. So if anyone like wants to know what I'm using, I have written it down. So that's in my bag. Hey, Loretta. Yeah, well, this is it. We're so, I think we feel so pressured, but ah. <laughs> do what you want to do, it's your book, still got this as a rollover in here, um, because I still haven't got to, <laughs> but I've had a busy month to be fair, so I really haven't sat down much, so this was the one that I chose from here, this gorgeous little fella, with the frog and the little clovers, I thought it was just beautiful, so I like that one, uh, so that's in my colouring bag, that's from number five by the way, okay, PDFs, the main one I wanted to get to was this Christine Karen one, which was the Faye Darling Grace Gal. But I, I've got the same PDFs as I had last month if you wanted to watch the March colouring bag. I've just added her in. I really want to do her. So she's in there. That's from Christine Karen. Then I've got the new Fairy Stories special by Fabiana Atanasio. This is my colouring heaven. Um, don't forget, I don't do all of these in here, but I do love this edition. Now, the one that I chose, but it's just so hard to choose, but the one that I did choose was a Hansel and Gretel one. Uh, I've got to find it. Hold on. It was that. I just thought that was adorable with all the sweets around them. So I want to do this one, the Hansel and Gretel. And I thought that was just so, so cute. Look at all the tiny sweets around them. So you've got the donuts, the candies, the biscuits, or you call them cookies in the US. You've got some flora and fauna, but not too much. And then you have chocolate. You've got more sweet candies. And, oh, I just love it. Lollipop. I thought it was adorable. So that's the Hansel and Gretel one. Their little portraits. I thought it was beautiful. But there's loads in here. To be fair, any of these would go. Um, the other ones that I've always loved is, I love the Pinocchio one with all the toys, I think he, that one's adorable. 
I love Captain Hook, this one. I think that was really good. Hey! KP, this is up your alley because it's this one. Kirsty Colour and Sketch did this on her channel. Um, I love this one. This is Peter Pan. One of my favourite, favourite ever Disney things is Peter Pan. I love it so much. No, I haven't, Sarah. If they sent out an email, I'm way behind. Do you know, everyone says to me, if you ordered this, Sammy, if you ordered that, Sammy, have you seen this, Sammy? I'm like, I have not seen anything for a month. I genuinely didn't look. I haven't got the Anastasia. I didn't order the new um, Hannah Carl's on. I haven't seen the PDF, so I'm like, nope, I'm not looking yet. <laughs> so, I've got a massive catch-up to do in the next few months. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for popping in, um, Cassie. Lurk away, my love. But I love the Hansel and Gretel ones. But I love this one so much. And that one. I think uh, KP is... If you want to go to a channel that's done, like, a massive amount of Fabiana, it's um, our lovely KP. Go and... Oh, we did this as a buddy colour, didn't we? Me, you and Francis. Uh, KP's channel, she's done tons on there really lovely love this issue now this is a rollover love this as well and it's the moth one now if you've not seen this book this is the coloring heaven but you can actually buy his books it's by herb leonard um you got that one as well kelly yeah there's so many the moth one in here i love um so let me show you i love him maple moth here's my favorite so I love moths, don't laugh. I cry when, I, when Andrew kills them. I'm like, no, don't kill them. Let them out. I know, I will get it, Lozzie. <laughs> my birthday is this month, so I will get it then. Don't worry. I was saying, I want to save everything. I'm going to give Andrew a list so he's got something. Hello, Tammy. Love this one so much. So this one is going to be the one that I do in here, and I just love the moth. I love that, love it. But the whole thing's nice. I love the circular designs. I've got to think about circular designs. I think it gives me something to work with. This is another moth one, um, but the moth is small in this one, not fluffy. Oh yes, the yam pam, yam puff freebie yam pam, yam pam. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I haven't seen anything yet. I've got a definitely look. Okay, then for one of our checklist challenges, we're back to the checklist challenge. Are we ready? Oh, cause <laughs> I love them. They're so big and fluffy. Hi, you chatty lane. Okay, so one of them on page three, I think it's your last note. It's your second from last. Is colour a page representing a holiday destination, i.e., a beach, um, skiing. Who likes a sport? You can actually do sport in this one because skiing's in there and you can double up. Um, mountains for hikers, wonders of the world for sightseeing tourists. It literally has a whole lot in there. So if you look through this one, it's, it's got everything. Like my hometown, London, that's where I live, but not in Central I don't live in it. Taj Mahal, you're sightseeing here. You're going through the sightseeing, Venice. You're going through it all. We're going around the world in this one. And we're doing holiday destinations. We're, this can also go for a farmyard scene. It looks like a farmyard. That's on there. You're going up to Asia. You're going to Greece. You're going tent, camping out in the mountains. You're going to Egypt to see one of the seven wonders. <laughs> it's just amazing. So you can do one of these. Now, the one, you can go to the beach. Um, you can go skiing, and this goes representing a page of sport and representing a holiday destination. Now, I hello Candice. I love them all. I, it's really hard for me to pick one. The safari, you can go on a safari. And this also goes for your wildlife safari animals as well. Okay, so I love them all, to be quite honest. Now, I love this one because I just could see myself with that book sitting looking out onto the lake so this might be one of them that i do and the other one that i chose that i wouldn't mind doing was the venice one um where is my venice guy my gondola he is here he's hiding from me now oh there he is okay so it's either this one or this one that i chose but don't forget 
you can start ticking them off like what you want to do. Then I was like, you know, portraits. I love my portraits. I need a portrait. What is wrong with me? So, <laughs> so I picked out, so we did one in here not long ago. We did this one. Um, this is on the channel. We did her. And the one that I, at, I love them all, but the one that I absolutely love in here is the front cover, this one. So this was my other option for a portrait. If I feel like I'm getting portrait with drawers, I need an Anastasia because she's my go-to for portraits. I love this one so much. So that's in my colouring bag. So we've got a lot in here. We've got the Serenity. We've got Wish You Were Here. Don't forget, I'm not going to go through all of these. I never do. These are just my options. I'm not going to sway from these. What's in my bag is when I want to colour, I'm going to my bag. I'm not going to my shelves. Come into my bag. I know I thought you sound away, Lossie. <laughs> yes, Candice. Ready to rock and roll with it. Uh, PDFs. Colourage Wild. Whip. Circle Life. We can maybe start one in here on Tuesday. Fragile Wild Body Colour. Fairy Towels. Another whip that I'm so disheartened by. And this one for when I'm on the go and I take it out with me. So they are all of my bag options. There we go. So that's that. I'm not even going to bother putting that back in there until after the stream. Let me move them. <laughs> Hold on, let me move this stack on the floor. i sort it out after. Okay, and then what else I was up to in March, because I've just got so into card making and I made this satchel. I'm going to bring you up. Um, so this is what I've been up to. So in between, when I've only got an hour or so, this one is a little satchel and it's got the back, it's got the little handle at the front and there's actually magnets that I've got on the backs of these so this one can be a gift bag for someone this is Shannon sent me this gorgeous die um, which is called Biggs and it's a tattered florals die goes through your machine hold on let me show you so that'll be a gift bag for someone or you know something that I do so this is what they look like. It looks like a giant foam pad and it actually cuts them out. I don't know if you can see that. Via these little, it, it looks like, it is like a foam. And it just, you literally run that through your machine. You layer them up. And then you end up with layered florals. So I did a tag which just says, happiness is homemade. And that's a vellum tag. Oh, you've gone out of focus, bear with me. This was following Sam Callcott, Mixed Up Crafts on YouTube. I absolutely love Sam. Love her. Okay, so it comes out, I've put these like pretend buckles and it has got magnets on there as well. So you literally just lift them up slightly. I'll show you the inside. I used some of this paper that I had from, um, in the UK, we've got a shop called Work The Works. I bought this pad in there. So it opens like that. Just flip them back. And I've just done a little hole so that you can pull this back. Oh my God, isn't she the best, Benita? I love Sam. And then inside it's got the floral pattern. It just keeps just doing that to you because it's trying to focus on them. Hold on. That's what happens if you've got something at the side. I love her. I love her. She's, oh, she's amazing. Um, so that is a nice size. And you can actually fit a fair amount in there. So if you can, you know, it's, it's sturdy and strong. I've glued it well. So all you do is flip that back in. These sides come. Can you see that? They come down. And then there is magnets there. You just... I, I didn't have eyelets, so I drew in with silver pen, like, pretend eyelets on there. But, yeah, they just go straight through again. And then there is a magnet on the other side. The magnets are there. So you have to just put them down together. But, yeah, if you want to go and have a look at Sam, she's brilliant. 
um, she's just so good at what she does and she's so inspiring so that was what I did that was number one and that's what the back looks like no I missed her lives I've just been like so busy over March <laughs> I missed everything but I would definitely check her lives out if I'm around um, but if not I watch stuff back but yes I love them oh what's some oh, hold on Go up. Oh, that's okay. You're doing a goldfish on your channel using the cast arts and artasias. Oh, nice. <clears throat> okay, then we have these cards that I've done. I don't know if I showed you that one, um, but I'll go through what I've done with you. So, some of them are die cut, some of them are just stamped. Um, I've done quite a few because I'm going to be sending it out to people. Um, so, a couple of you will be getting some, and then I'll make them, and I'll just keep going. Okay, <clears throat> so I did this one. It just says, Paper Hugs, you're amazing. That's a Distress Ink background. I've got some dies from um, K. no, it's on the Surprise Creations on AliExpress, and they're just these nesting dies. So, these are nice big ones. So, the shop's called Surprise Creation, and I use those to do that background so you get a, this is the set of just the scallops ones so I've got I've got to get the stitch ones as well but I'll get those next month you can't get everything in one go um, so this is the oval you get the circular you get the rectangular and you get the square and I decided to go for a small square and I'll I've still got to do the sentiment inside but that's the first one and that's a die cut and then that's just um, on a foam, can you see that? On a foam mount and that's embossed. So that's number one. Then the second one I did was the same sort of, I did the same stencil and I did uh, distress inks again and I used the same size and I just did warm hugs and you are all kinds of wonderful and just some like gems. <clears throat> again, that's just nice and small. Then I did a slightly bigger one and this one, again, is a distressing stencil background. And this one just says, hello, sending you happiness. So that's another one there. This one is a little bit more long. It took me a lot, bit longer. I don't know if you can see the detail, but it's like a circular. And these ones here are on foam. And that's on foam. I don't know if you can see that, but it sticks up. Um, and that just says, hugs, you're amazing. And I love doing these. They are such a fun half hour, hour, depending on what you're doing. Then I did this one with another die and I just die cut it three times. One with a pearl, one with a green and one with plain white. And then this is also a, whoops, I've got to stick that down, um, a die cut as well, which is mounted on foam. And again, this is a flip up one. So that one will stand like that. And then the two simplest ones that I've made um, are the stamps. So I bought a stamping magazine um, called Creative Stamping here in the UK. And you get an A4 sheet of stamps. Let me show you. Bear with me for a second because then I'll, I'll have it all prepared. Hold on. Uh, these are to send out to lovelies in the community over time. I just... <laughs> Oop. So, in each issue, you get literally an A4 sheet like this. Let me move these. Um, and they have different ones. So, this one was for like a really nice sort of zen type of one. And I used the reef and I used the elephant. And I made this one, which was on a scallop pre-cut card and I just use which I wouldn't recommend using distress inks to do this I need to get some stamping inks um, and the, the feather and I just put simple little things there and then I did that's an embossed paisley design and then this is just a stamped little elephant with a gem in the middle and it just says never give up on the things that make you smile so they were two stamped cards and then the one I'm going to use 
this next coming week um, is this one because my neighbour underneath is leaving us. I'm so sad. He's been our neighbour for 12 and a half years and he's 90... How old is he now? 93 and he's moving to assisted living. So, oh, just so sad he's leaving. So he's, he's selling up and I was like, no! <laughs> No, so they're also what I've been doing. So that's what I've been up to in March. Um, creating the checklist challenge. A couple of colorings. Um, a couple of, I'll say a few cards. And my April, what is it? My April bag, oh my God brain freeze and world of wonder and i've just uh, what i'm doing now so i start off with the little cubes and they've dried out now these two have dried out so what i'm going to do is buy the bigger pads in those so if you like distress inks and you're finding that you're loving them start off with the little cubes they're inexpensive and then you can move to the bigger pads and i really like the um oxides as well i think the oxides are a little bit more creamier Yes, yes, the range is amazing. I need to go back there, but I'm waiting for everyone to go back to school because it's just too busy. You've got the parents in there with all the children and the children get bored. I don't blame them. They walk around thinking, oh my God, my mum spends an hour in here looking at everything. <laughs> they are, and we love him. We're so sad. So he's a keen gardener and it's got these cute ones, look. So this is from um, Create and Stamp Him. And I've subscribed because you get so much like better deals by subscribing. So it's got, you can't see it unless I have it on there. Um, but it's got like a garden gnome. He's a massive gardener. He's got allotment. His garden's pristine downstairs. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got a well. It's got some, um, these are all clear stamps, by the way. Um, it's got wheelbarrows. It's got potted plants, little bugs. It's got wellies, the spade. It's so adorable. I love them so much. I'm like all for it. Yeah, you can buy the reinkers. because I just want the bigger pads for those ones. Only with the ones that I use the most. And the pinks, I don't know if you noticed, but I just love, I love doing them. The pinks seem to be, um, this is like a lavender and this is a, like a tattered rose, rose is a, like a dusky pink. I just want the bigger pads of these, but if these are good to start off with, the cubes, and then you buy the re for the pads. Ah, oh, thank you, yes, the list, if you want the list, you want about the checklist challenge? Hold on. No, that's so sad, I'm so sorry someone stole your diamond art clubs. Um, you like them, I'm so, so happy. Oh, die cuts, yeah. <laughs> um, well, do you want to kind of get an idea of what happened this month? <laughs> so I only started off with a few. And um, this is just one folder. This kind of happened. I don't know how, but that's the kind of thing. And I've got quite a few of these now. Um, so I've got another one for... AliExpress has been a very good friend to me. <laughs> But yes, you can buy little um, dies on AliExpress, and I love AliExpress so much. That one's like, just because, um, I've got a happy birthday one. These are just the word ones that I've got in here. So this one is thanks, cuddles, hugs, yeah. Um, this, this happened, and then I bought myself. I bought myself the, the thing that I've been loving the most, and that was a Tim Holtz, uh, hold on. If anyone wants to go into stamping, Tim Holtz stamping platform. This way you hold yours, like, it in place. You put your stamp there, for instance, you do that, so you wanna place it, they're just doing it with die cut. You put that down and your stamp will stick to there and it won't move. It won't move. It will keep it there. This is the best thing I bought this month. I'm just like, hello, Wilson. Well, 
I, I, I'm not sure I want to be saved. <laughs> I'm not sure. There are so many ways to be creative. There's never a boring moment in craft. I don't care what anyone says. I will challenge anyone that says they're bored with their craft. Use so many other crafts you can pick. And of course I've diamond painted. So there's lots and lots and lots of things that you can do. But yes, that's that's practically what happened in March. Um, I obviously wanted to get the checklist challenge out for you guys. Um, and that's it for, for you know, what I've been doing and what I wanted to show you. I haven't bought anything colouring related, but I'm sure in the next couple of months, little things I will get and I can show you some new goodies. <laughs> yes, the stamper. Now, on Tonic Studios, which is where that's from, um, oh, look, I like this sort of one as well. Alina Crafts is a good shop if you wanted an AliExpress store. Alina Crafts. But, um... Yeah, I know I did a lot for someone that was so busy. I was so surprised, didn't think I'd get anything done. Andrew will tell you, my bottom hardly hardly sat down in um, running around. But, you know, sometimes you need to just have that half hour break. But yes, if you really want um, to get involved with the checklist challenge, please do. It's your list. Now, there's no particular rules that apply. Remember to work it how you want to. Louise, they are. AliExpress isn't though. <laughs> They're not. Try and put your card in the corner before stamping. Thank you for telling me. I need all the tips. I am, oh, what I just did. I took my S off. <gasps> I need to re-glue that right away. Um, yeah, so if you want to download, it's in the description. I think we all have our faves, don't we? At the moment, I'm just loving everything because it's all new to me. So, I'm like, I'm all for everything at the moment. Look, I need to, I'm just re-gluing my, I just, oh, it's an old ring though. <laughs> no, really, Tammy? Oh, I'm so sorry. That sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. But we need to choose on Tuesday what to do. I pr not probably, I'm going to say 99% chance we're going to be in the circle of life. You all for that? I'll be here Tuesday in the normal time at 4. So 4pm. 4 Our clocks are with you now. We're not all messed around. We're all in the same time zones in terms of um, times have gone back to normal now. So yes, I think I'll be it for today. Obviously it's a short stream of an hour but it was more to just get you all updated with what's going on or what you can oh, be downloading and, and being a part of don't forget the mariola freebie in the description and don't forget to go over to instagram to our lovely passionista colorista because she has given you all of these amazing color alongs which are happening in april so there is not going to be anything in there that you don't there is something for everyone Yes, I have. I've got some slimline card uh, blanks, Louise. Yes, are we all for it? Should we do a circle of life on Tuesday? Oh, Lisa, that's another thing. I'm going to have to do that on the following Saturday. We're going to come back to that. We'll, we'll do two on the go as we usually, usually do. <clears throat> There's not too much to finish in that now, is there? Yeah, they are. They are. They are cool because you can colour, so you can incorporate colouring with stamping. But um, yes, if there's anything else that you want to know about, then let me know. But I'm out of the loop. Sixty-eight challenges, or we've gone up this year. Shall I do a bonus page? <laughs> You're gonna kill me. You're gonna be like, what? No, because that make me want to do it. <laughs> I'm actually writing down the checklist in my new notebook to try and do them. Oh, Tammy, have fun. Have fun. Yeah, so Tuesday, we're back to normal. We're back to normal. If there's a day where I'm having to go out, it's I'll let you know, but back to normal. But yes, we're going to be Tuesdays, Saturdays as normal uh, throughout April. And um, 
that was practically everything that I needed to catch you up on because I had quite a few but remember I have some spelling mistakes in the, in the first page of the colour and checklist challenge so ignore me so it is there it is available to download there's two pages with explanations of how you want to do it if you want to do it um, of how to work it if you wanted to double up triple up quadruple up seven up of any of the challenges on one page it's up to you but they're all there they're in the usual link and if you don't want to do this one and you want to do the first one you could do the first one um, just change the date just do 2020 instead of 2020 do 2021 but definitely go check it out you can do half you can do a few points if you need something to prompt you if you get in a block use it for that oh, I'm so happy I'm, I'm back now <laughs> it gives me time to sit down and do something as well like you know with you so yes it was just one of those months that was all but um hopefully things will settle down a little bit now but yes definitely but thank you so much for joining me for the hour <laughs> hour and 10 minutes flies by it's like i feel like i've been in five minutes um and i will be back tuesday and we'll probably be here a good few hours on tuesday no doubt so get your cups of teas and coffees uh, get your whips and your pages and join me in colour along to something that you're working on. And don't forget this is available now, The Worlds of Wonder. Um, that's brand new now, so you can get this. It was out on the 1st of April, so go get your copies. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Great to ride with you chattering in my ear. <laughs> I didn't go loud down the speakers, I hope. Uh, happy Easter guys, happy Easter, have a good su Easter Sunday, if you don't celebrate then just do something nice, yes, oh you finished it, wow, did you make a video, if not, did you uh, put them on hashtags so I can go see them, quite a few people finished them, I'm just astounded that you did, I think it's amazing, but it's, you've got a whole year, it's a, uh, you know, a year is, is a long old time, just wondering, because I've had a few people say, would you make a few cards here and there on the channel? Was that something you were interested in? Because I don't want to bring something over to a colouring channel if it's not in everyone's sort of like want. So, thank you, Evelyn. You are so sweet. You you really are. Thank you so much. That was um, a very, very kind, very sweet thing you did earlier. Go eat lots of chocolate. Yeah, eat lots of Easter eggs if you can. If you're like me and you can't, then just sit there with a green face, envious over everyone. <laughs> I just sit there like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> but yeah, if you do, let me know in the comments below. I really enjoy doing them. I will pre-cut stuff and we can do them together. You would... If it's something that people are really not interested in, that's absolutely fine. I am not in any way someone that would be offended if you said, no, Sam, no. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay, Becky. That's what I mean. I'm not offended. Like Some people get really offended. I don't. But that would be a separate video. It wouldn't be a stream. So if you're someone that isn't, you don't have to watch the video so okay lovelies thank you so much for joining me have an amazing weekend an amazing easter i'll see you on tuesday my normal time at four o'clock until then have a great time and eat lots of chocolate that's fine take care everyone see you for now